there, I'm Mary. And I'm Dave. And welcome to our front porch. This is our little cottage style porch that we had built with our home in back in 2013. So, right, yeah, we have a little wraparound porch. We wish it was bigger, but uh, the lot wouldn't allow us to make it any larger than it is, but uh, we do enjoy it out here a lot. We uh, use our porch quite frequently. We really so do. We really enjoy it. And along with that, uh, we have a, uh, we created, since we have kind of a cottage style front on our home, uh, mm -hmm. we decided to install or design and install a uh, uh, cottage garden and a little walkway. So that's what we'd like to show you t today, a little bit of that and explain what we did. So we'll take you just on a little tour of our garden and our walkway. So come along with us. We love our porch. We live at the end of a lane, so we live next to a beautiful woods. So throughout the day, we have, we have shade in different parts of our, um, of our house, front, back, and side. So here you see our, our garden that actually it changes a little bit every year. Um, but the main staples of it here, we have um, red autumn sage. And right now it's blooming just a bit, but sometimes it's just full of red blooms. And we get many compliments on it. And a lot of hummingbirds, too, love oh, it. So yes, we get a lot of hummingbirds. absolutely so, love it. And uh, notice the uh, walkway that we have here. We have a pea gravel walkway that goes around our house. Our garden has a combination of perennials and annuals. Um, some of them have been given to us. We swap plants with, with the neighbors sometimes. In fact, sometimes. Maya's given us some. In fact, so. Maya gave us uh, the creeping so, jenny that you'll see. See. We have barberry, we have boxwoods, we have, um, I think that's called spider grass, we have sweet potato plants, and we have beautiful lantana, and we have New Guinea impatiens. Um, I believe this is tick seed, we have the yellow tick seed, coreopsis. Uh, we also have... Oh, my jalapeno pepper. Oh yeah, we, the jalapeno this, pepper. <laughs> yeah, this year we decided to put a few... Uh, when you say uh, vegetable plants in with our with our perennial garden mostly this is a perennial garden we mostly. have do mostly uh, we do put uh, annuals in it but uh, I tried a uh, back here in the corner there is a jalapeno pepper and it's doing uh, fairly well so uh, we'll see what happens with that and we also have basil in here also. The nice thing about that is the deer don't really care for the fragrance of, of herbs so yeah, that yeah, helps keeps to, them away because we have deer in the area um, so we have brown-eyed Susans, we have some pink pentas back there. Back there, back by the um, rabbit. We planted some hibiscus, these pink hibiscus plants in the front, um, just along the edge. And then we've got... Very, oh, and Liz, our neighbor, gave us the... Uh, oh, the cute bird. little cute little bird right bird, there. Right there, we got mm -hmm. that going. Um, and we also have different um, shade colors of lantana, which we absolutely love because by the fall they turn into a huge showy... Um, flower for us. Um, we have brown-eyed Susans that our neighbors gave us that are about to bloom. We have some Veronica that's starting to peek through those purple right here. spikes. And we have some beautiful pink garden phlox. And um, just a, a little bit of autumn sage again, red autumn sage we have. Just a small plant. We keep that small. Plant. We cut it back. Um, we have a white dahlia and there are a few more hibiscus. and. Oh, Dave, show them the Creeping Jenny that Maya oh, gave Maya us. Oh, Maya gave us this Creeping Jenny right <laughs> I there. I absolutely love it because it's of great the stuff. color that it adds to our, garden. To our so, garden. That's pretty cool. So every year our garden looks a little, a little different. Bit different. We find that some things grow super well one year and the next year not so well, so we try something different. And we add a little, some potted plants uh, uh -huh. for color and things on our porch. And we have ho this holly bush. Holly's been and kind to us over mm -hmm. the years. And I want to show you this. Uh, this is... Uh, this is a mobile birdhouse, and we can move this uh, around the yard. I made it mobile. It's on a, on a stand, and so we just add it to the front garden this year, and usually it's out back, but this year. And next door to us, we have our bird feeding station next to the woods, and then we have our beautiful woods uh, that we get to enjoy all the time so and could you just show them a little bit of how our oh our walkway, walkway goes around it just goes it, it around, just goes around and, and and back along the side 
And we have, we have um, a nice little so side deck over there to enjoy in the morning. Morning's our cup of coffee, so. Oh, and don't forget about our porch swing. <laughs> oh, yeah. We and our porch, porch swing. And the kid, grandkids love the porch swing. Yeah. Uh, spend a lot really of time on that. So. so, yeah, thank you for joining us uh, today and showing you our little, little uh, perennial uh, cottage garden. So we hope you have a great day, too. Thank you.